So we are studying the various techniques. to optimize the deep neural networks. We studied that in lecture number nine, and this is our 10th lecture for the course of machine learning. So we studied that we can transform from shallow networks to deep networks and deep networks are classified when we have more than two to three hidden layers and we studied that shallow networks such as the MLP can be used to solve any kind of problem theoretically however that requires adding more neurons into your input layer or your hidden layer so that makes the network more complex and the problem is not that easy to solve so for that what we can do is we can use deep networks where we have more layers but the structure is not that complex for each layer and then when we are moving from the shallow networks onto your deep networks there are some problems or issues that we encounter and this last two lectures this lecture and the previous lectures is focused on the problems and what can be your solutions towards these problems so today we are going to study what is the role of code initialization on deep networks previously we studied the importance of choosing your activation function and setting the learning rate. So for the initialization of your network, we are going to study one method that is greedy layer wise training in which we can study pre-trained networks, unsupervised training, pre-training, and then we have the supervised Fine tuning. So, we are going to cover the pre training part, unsupervised pre training part, where we train the network using a greedy layer wise training approach. It also reduces the dimensions, and we are also considering the feature extractions. And what it does is provides a good initial weights to the next supervised learning step. So, all this pre-training is done to give you a good start or good training, good initialization for training your model. So supervised training is similar to the fine tuning similar to your supervised learning where all the weights are updated using gradient descent methods. So greedy layer wise tuning. So we can see here the curse of dimensionality in case of uh, an example facial expression recognition system for example if we have an image 256 by 256 so the input would be a 65 536 dimensional vector let's take an example for example this is your network x is your input to your network these are your nodes 
and this is your next layer since we are dealing with a fully connected network we are considering that there will be different layers and at the last you will have your classification layer where you have your output and what I'm talking about is here the X if X is your image for example it is a grayscale image and the size is 5 by 5 pixels then the input to your network would be 25 pixels and we would need 25 neurons and if your image is for example it is 5 cross 5 size but the image is RGB type then you will have 75 neurons in your first layer the input layer and what we are studying today is autoencoders as an example and the out the difference between the existing uh, the already discussed model is classification prediction types but now we will focus on autoencoders where the input is nearly same as the output so we are trying to regenerate the same image but in the process we will simplify the processing to train the network using pre-training and the target would be first encode reduce the dimensions and then decode the latent space that we get and obtain the original image and in the process we will reduce the dimensions of our network so we are targeting a lower dimension vector instead of using this size we will maybe use a smaller size of neurons or smaller size of the image instead of giving each and every pixel 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 this is a pixel each pixel instead of this the image is given we will give we can do is we can define some features to reduce the dimensions and why we want to reduce the dimension to reduce the complexity so that our model can learn so what we can do is define some facial key points for example these three points for the eyebrows these three points to identify the chin in total we will get six points and use the distance between these points as a way to represent our features so the distance between this these two points they are basically your feature vectors so we reduced this dimension to 60 so 65 536 sorry was reduced to 60 dimensions only and why this is done to make it less complex so that model can be trained and today what we are going to do is we are going to study the autoencoders and what we give is the input here each for example for the image each input is a pixel representation 
this is the latent space or representation of our features and then we obtain the same image back as z1 z2 z3 and z4 so the encoder will first encode your input using a transformation function f of x and then the decoder will decode the transformation function using your encodings from the encoding side layer to decode and obtain the same image back so the input is your image and the output is also your image and what we are interested in is what are these weights that are learned by the network so if in the training once we training is done so this latent space is done and trained this network is trained so if, even if we have these encodings we can retrieve the image so the hidden nodes can be interpreted as low dimensional representation of the inputs for example these y could be your dimension is 6 and this could be your representation so this is one encoder decoder representation but we can also stack these encoder decoders to address the vanishing gradient problem so layer one encoder then we have layer two encoder then we have a decoder layer three and decoder layer four to finally obtain our output that should be nearly the same should be the same result such that should be minimized We want to reduce the error such that the error between the projected and this nearly becomes zero. Okay, so now how we can do this? We can do the layer wise training or pre training. So if we consider this as your input x. this would be your hidden layer h1 right this would be your layer x this would be your layer hidden layer h and we are trying to learn the weights here so this is your encoder this is your decoder and this is what we are trying to learn we are trying to learn the weights for this input 